Hi guys, and hello Somerset, the commodities merchant. I am going to put one, two, three, four, and I want to sell. Excellent, I have a rusty gear. This is really good to be able to sell the beeswax. Okay, right, goodbye, thank you. I've done quite a lot of trading with him for sulphur, guys. Um, so I'm not that... Uh, let me put that odd stray beeswax in there. This is my trading chest. Yeah, good. Home again. Okay, guys, our molib... De chalkis is done so we now have eight good okay let's uh, give this a go we need some charcoal I'm not sure what level this smelts at <laughs> as the wolves howl in the wilderness behind us I'm putting two pieces of charcoal in it's just habit when I so it it doesn't say what it smelts at, does it? It doesn't no. Okay. Now I don't know whether you I mean these are the lanterns that I was making when I was in my last map and they are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what temperature they'll get up to. We'll have to have a go at working them. 700. I know that uh, you can work copper at a thousand odd, but... Uh, oh, going white hot already. I'm thinking it might be the same as copper because it's got copper in it. So there we go. Let's try this first one. Okay. All right. The only thing you can make with these is plates, by the way, guys. And the reason for that, uh, I do not know. Because it's quite a gorgeous look. Okay, let's get the other one out. Right. Make sure we're in the centre of the anvil. F. Starbursts. Excellent. So, we can put our beautiful plate, our a lantern, and two clear quartz. Oh yes, guys. These are absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful. That's what the copper one looks like. But I didn't want copper on the outside here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Colour with the bricks, with the glass. Perfect. Right, well, I've got a couple more candles, so let me get on with this. Okay, guys. I have three of these beautiful, beautiful, I'm going to call them lead lanterns. I'm going to strangle myself trying to pronounce the other word. So I definitely want one there. That's going to look great at night. And then over here, another one on the outside here to light our way home. Perfect. That means I've got that one. Yep, I picked it up to spare. And the third one is over here, but we will have to have a fourth down below. I just need to boil up some more of the... Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. I don't think I had any light out here at all, but that really goes well. Let's just... Oh, nope. I want to go down one. Oh, do not plant yourself in a flower pot. Right, come on, let's go down. There we go. 
and let's go out and see how this lead lantern looks yeah we need one there so how, how does that look well guys i think that color looks absolutely perfect it matches so well the copper would be too brash too brassy i know it's copper not brass but it, it would not look as good as this gorgeous gorgeous color no that's absolutely right this needs a lot of thought to make this look good it's as i want it but it doesn't exactly look good i'm not even sure that i need this one coming down into the water but if I'm harvesting reeds, I probably do. And this is a very even look here. I like it very much. It's all looking very good, but I do think we need to patch our wall up there. <laughs> okay, something to be thought about. Mm. Look guys, just a quick mm. look. Oh, stop it. Go away. Go away. Right. I was just trying to pause to have a quick look. Doesn't that look better with some light outside? Looks absolutely fantastic. Really good. Oh! Flippin' egg. Let's just leave them behind. So annoying. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Good. I have a feeling that the lanterns inside do actually shine outside, but it's still nice to see it in the darkness. As I was collecting more candles for more lights. Hi guys, I'm just about to smelt up the second lot of Molybdochalkis. And um, what I've done is I put this galena in first and then I added copper until I got uh, a good number of units. And as you know, the reason I've done that, uh, guys, is to make sure that I'm not wasting the copper because, I mean, I love copper lamps. Let's just stick that lot in there. It won't take all that, but nonetheless so i can put my copper back in here right guys i want to go exploring and i want to go and have a look at that uh, structure on the map where i think there might be a ruin so what i'm going to do is to hurtle out to the east along our path which I'm getting very very fond of because it it enables me to sort of get out to where I want to get to very quickly but also I've got my clay pit there I've got bamboo here if I want more bamboo and I want to try something <gasps> I read on the discord look oh look all those ferns I've wasted and I can cut them with a knife gosh how good is that guys oh yes oh, I'm loving this perfect perfect now let me get the big map because oh it's quite a long way it is to the left Right, let's just check one more time. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's it. Okay. Right, let's try and go this way. Oh, look at this. Oh, gosh. I didn't know I could... I Oh! Okay, pause, guys. Sorry, have to mark things as we find them. So, black sash. We point add yellow 
copper. Waypoint added. Good. Right. Lots of sticks on the ground, which is good. So we're heading out here. I think I'm going to come into desert. Actually, get your sword out, girl. Oh, nice lot of sticks. Don't stop to collect sticks. Just head for what you're heading for. It's on this map now. Wow. This is bee country. I've already found one set of bees and I've got a fantastic amount. Oh, there's more copper here. And is the copper over here? No, it's right here, okay. Here we go again. Have I got it? Yes, good. You just all the time. Yeah, need to make sure it's there. What is it I'm looking at here? Oh no! <laughs> this is the ruin I've already dug out. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's the ruin I've already dug out. Oh, how infernally disappointing. And I can hear hyenas as well. Joy. I tell you what, let's just go up to this hill. Ooh. You have not bought enough stuff to cave. But still. Oh, look, quartz. Let's just have a quick peep in case there's anything we haven't found before. Oh, look at this, guys. Amazing structure. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're going to leave that one till later. Up we go. Come on. But the quartz is very close to the surface here. I don't need quartz, guys. I really don't need quartz. I've got hyenas yowling at me. Um, oh. Well, let's get you down. Oh, what's that? Claystone rock. Oh. I don't think I haven't found this before. Right, let's um, see if we can take a block with us. Oh, that's different. Uh, no, I can't get out, can I? Right. right. Let's just work our way out of here. So I think what we need to do is to mark this. Let's put a waypoint right here. Um, T backslash waypoint. No, no, no. Wapoint. Waypoint add um, brown. And what is it? Claystone. Claystone cave. Will that do it? Yes. Good. Okay, it almost looks red, not. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go this way, away from the hyenas. I'm just going at a sort of angle here, guys, just meandering and wandering. 
So what sort of country is around here? Oh, termites. Oh, hello. Oh gosh, there's two of them. Yeah, and you. Right, eat something. Look at this, guys. It's a big pack of hyenas over there. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place here. Look at them all. There's a pack where my cursor is there. There's this one closer that I'm going to kill because he's going to find me. Yeah, you can see me, can't you? Oh, go away. Right, are there any more? Right, get the knife out. Butchering time! Well, that's answered one question. Look at this colour, guys. This colour I couldn't identify, this brown thing, is claystone. Right, let's try and find our way back in the darkness now. I'm going to fly back, trying to avoid all the hyenas. <laughs> Not an easy task. Right, guys, that is the third, uh, one, two, three, four, fifth and last lantern that I actually need for this build because I want to put one outside this door here because it's an absolute paradise. Uh, yeah, there. Oh, lovely. Oh, it, yeah, that's fantastic. Good. It won't keep all the drifters away, so that's got a lantern outside. We've got this beautiful lantern here, which is hanging very nicely there. This one... Yeah, we've got one out there. All looking good. We've got the garden a bit more lit up because my little sojourn in the desert killing hyenas has given me some more fat lamps. But that's a nice light there. Yeah, that's... That's all getting far more lit up. Good. And then we've got the one outside the door upstairs. So our light situation is actually easing a bit, guys. But I want to... I've still got um, another candle. And I'll be able to get some more soon. So I'm going to uh, start to... I think boil up is the right word. These ores here. And we will get these underway. That's it. And then as we do that, let's get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Collected some more sticks. Let's put those in there to start warming them up. And then we'll get another 600 units of copper, which will be great. And that reminds me, I've got a molybdenum one there that needs to go in that back corner good i've got lead over there but i'm using that mainly for tools guys not for lanterns and here is where i am boiling up my um you know whenever i have anything spare i tend to boil up a bit of meat it's it's mostly because i'm i'm low on grain oh i'm low on fruit i can eat fruit <laughs> I'm trying to get myself into the habit of eating properly, guys. Actually, I must make sure that I put some charcoal in there and don't just leave it. There we go. Let's ease those in and uh, fill myself up with fruit and see if that has any effect on my well-being. Let's have a look at that now. Words. Oh gosh, you have to eat a lot. Yes, I've been eating mostly vegetables with a bit of protein and I need some grain. But I think for the time being, we'll keep the fruit on us, guys. Look at this. I only found out by going in the Discord that you could actually cut ferns with a knife. Fantastic. Come on, you guys. Smelt. Hi, guys. I have put 
a honey bucket next to my trader. Oops, it keeps doing that. And oh, dash it, I'm one short. Um, the reason for that is that I know that in I've been reading up on the notes about the new update and I know that quick lime is going to be important and I need two gears for that and one two three four sell that's going to give me one gear I need one more gear okay say so goodbye yep and I've got yeah, one of those. Yes, I need to go and harvest another hive, which is going to be interesting. Seeing as, let me just move that hammer off my bar. Uh, seeing as I've harvested two already, so the third one, they should really come after me. So I'm going to have to think about it. I've been harvesting them sort of in a spread out fashion that's harvestable and that's harvestable yeah i think i'll take this one yeah i thought so and the sun in the corner yeah okay okay guys all right yeah yeah oh lord go go and yeah go around the dummies Yeah, they're going for the dummies, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Right, so let's go and squeeze this lot into this honey bucket. Which is almost full, I think. Right, he was talking to me and I hadn't even gone up there yet. Hello. He doesn't want any. <laughs> I think I need. He's going to. Goodbye. Oh, flipping heck! I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to. What did I do then? I must have had my finger on the wrong thing. I keep doing this, right? I think I've got one more gear back at the ranch. And I think what I need to do, gosh, what with the bees and the trader, I've been attacked on all sides by things that are not benign, but yeah, that's good. Not meant to help me that much. Not meant to hurt me that much. I'm not being careful enough, probably. Right, there we go. Ugh. I'm saying ugh, because I don't like the feeling of going up the stairs. Now, I think I should have that. Yeah, I have. I've got one. I've got three. Right, this is my chest for mining but also for stuff I'm going to take back to my other trader so I've got two gears right I didn't mean to trade today but I think that the chance to get this quick line is almost too good and my guy this, I think this is going to be extremely lucky for me because, um, as this seed always is, because, are you, have you forgiven me? Yes. Because my guy is a commodities merchant. So if I take that, buy. Thank you. Ah, get onto an empty one. Yep, yeah, goodbye. Do, do, do. Yeah, because I think this quick lime is going to be needed in the next update. Because I have a feeling that if we can't make stone bricks, which as you know, guys, I really like here uh, in this build, and I'm using a lot of them, and I'm probably going to use a lot more, then we're going to have to, we won't be able to just use a hammer and a chisel. We will have to use other methods which is we're going to have to have mortar in it and i think the quick lime is part of that 
So this is our sort of making chest. So let's put the quick lime up there. That's saltpeter, that's for making bombs. Pencladite, I have no idea what that is. I think it's nickel. Yeah, quartz we're using anyway. Limestone is for writing on notices. Sulfur is going to be for poultices. This is for bombs. The crushed chalk, I don't know. I, I might need that for mortar. Black coal, I probably need to make blasting powder. And this quick lime is, is useful just to have. So guys, I'm where I see things that I think I will need for the next update, I am gathering them already. And in the meantime, now that the guy doesn't want those, he, I hope, will come back to it. Whoops. Uh, time to make some more lanterns. Excellent. Right, guys, I've just quickly made a planter. Now, the question is... <laughs> you know what I'm going to try, don't you? Do ferns. Go in planters. Or is it just flowers and I hope still bamboo? Oh, come on. Ah. They do not go in planters. Oh. And they require, but they will go in like that, perfect. Right, well we will save these till we've got our garden made a little bit better. So they don't go in planters, okay. Always disappointed when something won't go in a planter. Come on. I'm having a lot of trouble with getting stuff into the right boxes here. Right, we have a planter. Let me just check. Now, I've got two there, I know. I've got two planters there. Have I got two here? I think I have. I have. Going checking all my planters. Here we go down. I'm sure I've got them here. Yes. And I think the one place I haven't got them may be up here, where I've got a chest instead. Yes. Oh, I haven't even got a planter there. My goodness, we need a bit more color. I think I might move that chest inside. It's the one that I keep all my animal fodder in. Um, all right, let's take one of those. Running around with a bunch of flowers in my hand, as always. There we go. And immediately that looks better. Let's harvest this while we can. Let's see how that's looking. I must pillar up. In fact, I'm going to do it now while I remember it and put those other two arches there. That will look better. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe to me. But in any case, I hope to see you for the next episode. Bye bye.